Hi guys, Stribbers here. Welcome to episode 2 of my Project Gotham Racing 2 Road to Platinum series. In the previous episode we smashed 4 Platinum medals in the Compact Sports series and we're going to be doing the next 3 in this episode and also the first race in the next series that we unlock. So for these 3 races we're going to be using the Focus RS. Just makes it so much easier because well, this race in particular starts off on a straight so You'll see, we'll fly past these cars, no problem. So we've got the Honda Civic and the Lancia in front. As you see, we just ease past those. Closing in on the Golf. Got a bit of drafting going on there. Try and cut inside. Take the inside of the corner, but he actually tries to spin us out there, so... We nearly crashes the barrier there as well, so... And then Honda Civic starts to overtake us, so... Got two to overtake now. Clip the inside of the barrier there. Yeah, as I said, there's loads of straights in this race, so it's actually not too difficult. And once you once you get in front, really, you shouldn't have too many problems. One thing I do notice on this corner is the automatic gearbox sort of plays up a little bit staying in the high revs in second gear. I think it does it in, on the second lap as well. For some reason, on that corner, it doesn't seem to like it. It's one, one benefit probably using the manual, but that's the only time I've seen the automatic gearbox let me down. It changes down when it shouldn't really, and it struggles to change up again. Nice power slide around there. And yeah, we're actually opening up quite a big lead here. So yeah, this, this race isn't too bad. When when you start getting six to eight cars in a race, then it starts getting a bit difficult. Usually, the the car that starts off first is going to be uh, the hardest um, car to beat. Uh, the other cars just generally get in the way. So if you don't overtake them soon enough, the other car can open up quite a big lead. So, especially when there's, when there's eight cars, and the first car can just get away as much as it wants, and you have to battle your way through the pack, it can be a little bit annoying. But not too bad in this one, you see. Beat by quite a distance there. So that's another medal in the bag, another clean race. 1,400 kudos for that. Sweet so Type actually beat the uh, goal for that, didn't expect that. Uh, so we ranked up again, four kudos tokens. Ranked up every race so far. Now, this one, uh, this speed camera is one of the infamously hard ones on this game. You have to hit a certain speed um, whilst going through a speed trap, speed camera. You see on expert it's 93 miles an hour and on hard it's 88. Which 5 miles an hour doesn't seem like it's a big difference but um, it definitely is because I don't even think you can get 94 miles an hour. And this took me about 4 or 5 attempts, this one. It has taken me longer in the past but... Um, so the trick is on the second corner you have to cut in to the apex, leaving you lots of room to then cut into the apex on the third corner. You see my ghost did pretty well in this one as well, in the previous attempt. But managed to just get 93 miles an hour. Got 92 a couple times, but uh, 93 is quite difficult. You have to make sure that second corner is perfect to lead you into the third. You make make use of the, uh, the track as much as possible, trying to go wide on the third corner. And again, another rank we've gone up, rank 7 this time, 4 more kudos. Uh, of kudos tokens. So it leads us on to the last race of the Compact Sport series, which is another street race. Focus being used again. And I think this is the first race where you have six cars. Which does make it a little bit, yep, yeah, six cars makes it a little bit more difficult, more challenging. Again, which is the thing with these tracks, is it starts off on the straight, so that gives us a great advantage to overtake all these slower cars. And you see the first appearance of the Focus RS in the street races, which is also a good sign of which is the best car in the class, because if they don't appear till later on, then you know uh, it's going to be one of the better cars in the class, it's going to be more challenging. You see the Renault Clear made a hash of that corner, and Focus there made a hash of that corner, pulling my way through a little bit there. That was an awful corner. Too much power sliding, going a bit too, bit, bit too slow through there. 
So, and this is the first time I've seen aggressive tactics from the computer there. As you see, he tries to get on the inside. Obviously, if they're close enough, they'll try and do overtaking maneuvers. So, it's a good battle. RS against RS. And this was a bad move. I tried to go on the outside. But you just, just get out of the way. He wouldn't. Bash me into the corner there at Bucks. I managed to go on the inside of him. Nice little flick on the inside whilst he's going wide, so that keeps him ahead. And now it's just a case of staying ahead. See, he's quite far behind already. It's just about getting in there at the good times and the good lap times. That was right on the limit of that corner. Any closer would have uh, hit the wall. Shows you the car behind at the top if you need to know. Could have gone a little quicker through there, but that's quite quite nice. You see, we're getting a good lead on that RS now. So the trick is, just once you're ahead, you can defend your position. Uh, obviously, they'll try and be aggressive, but you can usually, if you're, if you're racing quite cleanly and using the track to your advantage, you can get ahead quite easily and keep increasing your lead. So we've got the last few corners to do before we finish this race. I remember this was a terrible corner, it took it way too wide, so I couldn't flick into the apex. Lost a bit of time there, focus is catching me up. Coming into the last corner now. And I hit the wall on the inside, trying to be trying to be too perfect around there, so it slowed us down. But another win. Clean race, so you get the clean race. If you tap the um, the barriers when you're going around the track, it doesn't um, doesn't count as uh, hitting the barrier properly and losing your kudos so I don't know what the actual margin is but we've unlocked the the next series which is the sports convertible series so we've got all the platinums in the compact sports next series unlocked sports convertible six races now eight races in this again no, seven actually I can't even count overtake is the uh, first one so I'll explain what event this is after we look at the cars so two cars to start with Mazda MX-5 which has just got terrible stats there's absolutely no point in using that compared to some of the cars in this class Toyo MR2 is a slightly better version of the terrible MX-5 and it, to me it looks awful so I wouldn't pick that car sorry to any MR2 owners out there and we can unlock four other cars in this one you've got the Porsche Boxster S um, which is four tokens, a Honda S2000, which is three tokens. There is, I think, uh, the BMW Z4, which is four tokens again. And then there's also the Audi, which I think is two tokens. Another um, tip to see how good the car is in the class is how many tokens you need to unlock. So the Audi is quite slow there, two tokens. And then the other three cars that are quite decent, between three and four tokens. Um, the Porsche Boxster S has got the best combined top speed and acceleration with the uh, the least power sliding, so that makes sense to pick that for any races. And um, the Honda S2000 is similar stats, but more power sliding and less top speed, so that's probably more suited to the cone challenges. So for the races, Porsche Boxster S, definitely. Uh, but this is an overtake, so we've got to overtake a certain amount of cars in the time given and hard was five cars and platinum is seven cars in two minutes 55 and I should mention the cars are slower cars so it's from the compact sports series the worst part about this is the cars get in the racing line so you have to um, adjust your racing line to go round them so you have to go on the inside of the mini and catch up to that's the Lancia, and this is another example. The Lancia goes in the apex. I couldn't go on the inside of him, so I have to go around the outside of him. So it's a real test of your overtaking ability, even though usually you'd be against cars that are going similar speed to you, but these just get in the way. So we've got three out of seven cars. That is the corner that I've crashed into a lot of times in this race. It took me about ten attempts, this race. I kept getting spun out by... Um, uh, trying to overtake some cars and hitting them or just driving too quickly round and bashing into the barrier. So here exactly we've got an example there, we got lucky hitting the um, see it and then the wall, but didn't spin us out, managed to carry on through there. So it's four out of seven cars. There's two coming up ahead. Which is the golf. I think it's the Civic ahead of the golf. 
And here's an example of the car getting in the way. As he decided to brake harshly, so I couldn't adjust in time, and I hit him and nearly spun out, but managed to hold it. And a drafting Civic Type R, I managed to get a nice clean overtake coming down there. So it's six out of seven cars now, and just the last car to try and catch up. Got a bit wide there, quite slow through there, but we've got a minute and six seconds to catch this last car up. So it's not too bad, you get plenty of open road ahead. So just got to concentrate. That's the corner there, you've got to be quite quick and nippy through. Try and use the, the width of the track there and cut inside here, again using the grip coming out. And it's the Renault Clio which we are going to overtake there. And I thought that is where the race usually ends, but as you can see it carries on and you just got to keep driving for the time left, so you don't need to see that, so I've just skipped the video on about 30 seconds. As you can see on the mini map, very far ahead of the uh, Renault, so if you get um, if you get the race right with no collisions or anything, you can actually win that one quite easily. 6,200 kudos, and we've ranked up again. And that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.